Hey everyone, I promised I would create a video on colorimetry, so here it is. This is not a technical video on the ins and outs of the apparatus and the science behind it all. It is, however, suitable for your A-level biology when you're asked how to convert qualitative data into quantitative data so that you can plot a graph. Colorimetry is a good method to use when you want to determine the concentration of a specific substance in a solution. A reagent such as Benedict's solution may be added to your test or unknown solution where it reacts with the substance of interest to produce a colour. The samples are placed in the colorimeter which measures the solution's absorbance at a specific wavelength. A dilution series can be used to produce a calibration curve which can then be used to quantify that substance in samples of unknown concentration. The theory behind this is probably understood better in an example. So here we've got two racks of test tubes, each one with a different concentration of glucose. Solutions containing a range of known concentrations are prepared. This is what we call glucose standards. This ranges from no glucose in the 0% sample to the 1.0% of glucose. They're called standards as we know exactly the concentration of glucose in them. If you haven't already watched my video on food tests, you might want to click the link that's just flashed up on your screen to revise that. Essentially, what we would do is we would carry out the Benedict's test on each of these test tubes by adding the Benedict solution and heating in a water bath. And we would be able to observe some form of colour change in the ones ranging from 0.2% of glucose to 1.0% of glucose. Remember, the higher the concentration of glucose, the more brick red the colour change is. The next task we would carry out is to produce a calibration curve. Here is an example on the screen now. On the x-axis you have your glucose concentrations and on the y-axis we have the absorbance from the colorimeter. The absorbance of each of the color standards is measured in the colorimeter at a specific wavelength and these values are used to produce a calibration curve for glucose. The calibration curve can then be used to determine the glucose concentration of any unknown solution based on its absorbance. So for example, let's say your absorbance reading was around 0.7 and that's where the red line is on the y axis. You would read the graph across from 0.7 and as soon as that line hits the graph, you can read the value on the x axis. So in this example, the concentration of glucose in your unknown sample would be around 0.6%. I hope that makes sense guys. I know it's been brief but that's all I have for you right now and that's literally all that you need to understand about going from a qualitative Benedict's reagent test to a quantitative sample using a calibration curve. We've also touched upon the dilution series. You would look at that a little bit more in practical six when you eventually come to it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and share and also subscribe to my channel for similar content. Bye for now.